Oh, Talohani uh, and Kira Kato Katoa, and good afternoon. Um, I, I do bring the apologies of Ruth Dyson. Um, Fog has kept her in Christchurch. Um, I was coming to be a member of the audience today, so um, I hope I can answer some of the questions uh, that you may have for us later on. Uh, with one in four people with a disability, uh, that is a huge issue for the New Zealand society. Uh, and apologies that Ruth cannot be here because I think Ruth was very instrumental in making sure that we um, brought in the UN Convention of Rights of Peoples with Disabilities. Uh, she pushed for it. Uh, she made sure New Zealand was uh, a leader in that, uh, in, the, uh, in the globe. Uh, and I think we need to give a lot of credit to uh, Ruth for doing that. Um, that goes back to a lot of what we in the Labour Party think our values are about, and that is about inclusiveness and equality. We've only got three minutes, so I'm going to make sure that I get the policy points across that are at the top of our dis disabilities issues. Um, but as I mentioned, we're going to make sure that we ensure the implementation of the Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. We're going to make sure that we employ 100 more additional special education teachers and comprehensively review the entire system of special needs and support. And we'll also provide free annual health checks for people with intellectual disabilities. Labor's campaign at this election is about jobs, homes and families. When it comes to jobs with people with, in, uh, with disabilities, it is about access to education and making sure that we have individual education plans for people with disabilities. When it comes to homes, it's making sure we design lifetime homes. I used to be the aged care spokesperson and I work with a lot of aged care groups on the Kapiti Coast. We need to get wiser about how we design our homes. Uh, and uh, we need to show leadership on that uh, as a landlord as well. So we'll be doing that with Housing New Zealand. And also with our families, we will repeal the bill that was passed in Budget 2013 to make sure that all family carers get access to payments if they're looking after their family with disabilities. Um, we don't think that it was a good move by the government to have criteria for high and high, uh, very high needs um, people with disabilities to be the only ones who had access to payment. Um, as a broadcasting spokesperson, I'd like to agree with uh, Paul Foster Bell. Uh, there isn't enough captioning of, uh, of television. Uh, so as broadcasting spokesperson, we're going to commit, is that 30 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> we're going to commit to make sure that any New Zealand on air funded content uh, is captioned and make sure of that and work with the broadcasters to make sure we can have close to 100% captioning. If you've got Sky, I've got good news. They are very, very proactive. Uh, and making sure there are more captions. So that's one thing as broadcasting spokesperson, I hope to make sure happens. Thank you very much.